Welcome back to Vietnam. We are here in Da Nang where we left off. We are catching an overnight train tonight. But first of all, we need to check out. I'm going to get us a train station. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We're just in the train station now. We totally overestimated how long it would actually take us to get here. It was only like five minutes <laughs> in the grab and we've got about an hour wait now. We've heard that they don't wash the sheets, they're just reused from the other people, but I, I can't speak being that much of an issue. No, as long as it's not dirty, dirty, I'm sure we'll be okay. <laughs> Good morning everyone, we are somewhere in the middle of Vietnam, we're currently on the sleeper train. We got on here last night, we were ushered pretty much straight into our cabin and it was quite dark and quiet and there was people sleeping so we didn't really want to make too much noise by filming so we just jumped straight into the beds and attempted to get some sleep. I think I've had about four to five hours sleep in total, just broken on and off. I didn't sleep too bad, there's a big speaker up here that goes off every time we stop and that's pretty loud so that woke us up the bed is definitely hard as they said but apart from that it hasn't been too bad so instead of being four to a cabin you have six and you definitely don't have as much room you can't even sit up in these middle bunks because it's so low we've got a pretty nice view out the window as well couldn't obviously tell last night because it's dark so I think we'll be able to just enjoy some nice things while we're going on. In terms of length of the bed, my head is not quite on the top, but my feet are pretty much touching the bottom. I'm 5'10", 5'11", so if you were a lot taller, then you probably wouldn't be able to lie down flat. And it's definitely not comfy enough to lay on your side, because it just digs into your shoulder and your hip. I've literally just noticed there's loads of storage space up by the top bunks as well, but we did not see that at 1am this morning when it was pitch black. Thank you. <laughs> That's a little room we have. Okay, quick look around the toilet. It's nothing special, not very nice at all to be honest. Um, kind of reminds me of the trains in Thailand, but yeah, it's just a hole in the floor. Definitely not the nicest toilet, but at least it's got a sink and some soap to wash your hands because yeah, it's not great. I'm not, I'm not going to show the court there. It's not a great toilet. It is literally just a hole in the floor, this one. But there's what it is. At least you can uh, go to the toilet. So as you can see, it's basically like a normal train. And then you've just got the carriages then on the side. And this is ours. So before getting on the train, we also heard that they just reuse the blankets and the pillowcases and stuff and don't wash them in between the trains like going and stuff um, but my pillow doesn't seem too bad doesn't seem like there's any stains or anything on it no they seem pretty clean don't they but i have been using my hoodie just as like an extra pillowcase which has been even comfy i guess to give it more lift as well yeah a couple of stains on the sheets but obviously when we got in it was really dark so we didn't notice oh and we didn't really have a choice went to sleep. And the blanket's actually quite thick. I wouldn't say it gets too cold on here, but I used half of it. You were like proper crunched down. I was, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the main issue as well with the bed is probably the mattress. Um, look how thin it is. It's basically not a mattress. It's quite hard, isn't it? It might as well not be a mattress. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. We are another four or five hours, is it? I think so, yeah. Shouldn't be too long now. We're over halfway there, I just looked at a map. Yeah, we're, we're 11, 12 hours in. Yeah. Yeah, so we've just found a plug, but it's in a really awkward location. <laughs> but at least it works. Okay, I'll take an opportunity to show around our cabins. We are room four, we are bed 21 and 22. In the cabin, you've just got two beds at the bottom with a bit of a table, two middle beds, which was us. As you can see, it's quite restricted in height because there is a third bunk then at the top. There's some a plug here and some lights, and I think this controls the speaker, which would have been handy to know earlier on. Yeah, 100%. You've got these little steps to get 
back to your bank. Like we said earlier, it comes with a blanket, a bed sheet and a pillow, and there's a light just in the corner there with a little hook as well. crouch to pee which is gross thankfully i had a wet wipe on me because if i didn't i would have had a drip dry it's not really a toilet is it it's just a hole it's just it's just a hole <laughs> so the tickets were 26 pound each and obviously that cancels out one night of accommodation because we slept overnight on the train and we've been on there like 16 hours like Cassie just said um but yeah a really handy way i guess of traveling across the country yeah very easy because we have come a long way we're like basically all the way up north now we? yeah um just got a couple of hours to hanoi and then a few hours to the border then so come pretty far yeah and to be honest it's actually gone quite fast and the views are awesome look at this We've got like a lake coming into a city now pretty cool I do think traveling by train is probably my favorite mode of transport just because you get to see a lot of the countryside that you wouldn't get to see if you took a bus. Yeah. Because it's very much highways on the bus. Yeah, you definitely get to see a lot more on a train. Yeah, and it's you can see out both windows as well. Yeah, it's more enjoyable. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Definitely recommend train travel. 100%. We've got some exciting news coming up about train travel. Yeah. So you'll have to stay tuned for that a couple of weeks now. But yeah, we've got about an hour. We'll pick it up when we're getting off. We've made it to Ninbin, everyone. Oh. First impressions, it's really quiet. So quiet compared to what we've seen so far. But let's talk about the train for a second. By the end, I just wanted to get off. I'd had enough of lying down for that amount of time. Yeah, definitely. It was a long, long train journey. But all in all, it wasn't too bad. The, the sheets were pretty clean. The pillow was pretty clean. Um, and we had quite a people in our cabin, which was a bonus. We're going to head to our hotel now. We're going to show you what you can get in Ninbin for £8 a night or $10 US dollars a night. We'll see what it looks like. Right, as you've just seen, we've checked in. We'll show you around this place quickly before we end the video. This is our big double bed. Just got like a seating area here. We have got a fan, but we've also got aircon. This is really cool, this big clock on the wall. And then we've just got a standard, a standard bathroom, I guess, with a big shower head. I really like this big circle window. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's quite like Instagram-y, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really clean and modern as well. So I think it might be like a new place. And this big window at the front where the sun is going down just in the distance there behind those clouds gives really good light in, so. 10 out of 10 for this room. And for only eight pound a night, you literally can't go wrong. So we are going to end it here. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again in the next one.